Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here with the Token Minorities, bringing you guys another Pokemon Standard Deck Profile from the Harrogate Regional over in the UK. We are going to be going over the 43rd place deck. I found this deck extremely interesting, wanted to try it out. Used by Tommy Latella. This was the only deck in the top 48 that I saw. Uh, didn't see any duplicates of this deck. And it is Glaceon GX and Shuckle GX. A pretty much disruption slash stall deck, in all honesty. If I'm going if, uh, if I'm going to be very honest with you, this is just a stall slash disruption deck. Uh, with ability lock from Glaceon, uh, Shuckle being a very annoying card. So we're going to go to the deck manager, give you guys an idea of what it does. I've done a little bit of testing with it. Um, it is uh, different. So only nine Pokemon here used. Four Eevee from Sun and Moon base set or the Let's Go special edition box that came with that Pokeball and some packs. Three Glaceon GX with the ability Freezing Gate. So you're using the ability Freezing Gate to lock down your opponent's GX ability. So what Pokemon does it lock down? Tapu Lele, Zoroark. Alola Ninetales, Gardevoir GX. Top four off the top of my head, I can think of that it locks down. Then you have Shuckle GX with Protective Shell. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks with opponents that have few, two or fewer energy. Why is this important? Well, think of the Pokemon that use two or fewer energy at times. Buzzwool GX uh, at times will use one energy to just use Jet Punch. You also have Zoroark GX that uses two energy. Tapu Lele could use two energy or up to more than two energy. Uh, other Pokemon off the top of my head that use two energy that are in the meta. Tapu Koko promo only has a double colorless energy, so it's not doing any damage. Passimian, we went over Passimian, not doing any damage. So it is a good stun deck. Lost March. Lost March cannot touch Shuckle GX because of Protective Shell. Then as the attack triple poison, your opponent's, act, your opponent's Pokemon is now poison. Put three damage counters in between turns. Kind of just a very stall-worthy card. And you guys can just look by the deck. It is here to disrupt. Four Crushing Hammer. Three Enhanced Hammers. Playing Acerola to bring back some of my Pokemon that are damaged. Max Potion for the Shuckles. Super Scoop Ups. It is a disruption-based deck. We have the Stevens Resolve uh, to search our hand, search for cards, add them into our hand. So, pretty much, we're here just to piss off our opponents uh, because our opponents may not want to play long games. So we're gonna hop into the versus ladder here and try and see if we can pick up a couple wins. We did go two and one in our last deck profile, being the White Curum. Uh, so hopefully, this time around, we can go. 3-0, but with this deck, hopefully just try to play two games because with it being a stall-based deck, it might take forever to actually get going. So we're going to take a look here and pray and hope that we get two games. Uh, if not, hopefully we get one really good game instead of one really long stall fest. All right, so right off the bat, we do not open up any Pokemon. You will brick often your opening hand with this deck. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not. I'm not going to butter it up. You guys will brick with this deck, just because you are only playing nine Pokemon, six of which are basic Pokemon. So you have a one in ten chance, I believe it is, of opening with a basic Pokemon in your hand. So one out of every ten hands might open up I, i'm pretty sure don't i'm not a math major uh but we do open up eevee and a water energy which is phenomenal and i believe we are going second so that doesn't really help us much right well it does allow us to steven's resolve and with steven's resolve we can um start building up a nice hand getting a shuckle into our hand getting possibly another eevee saw there we did brick twice so so far, one in three hands have bricked, right? Right? Did I do the math right? Let me know down in the comment section if I'm doing the math completely wrong and I shouldn't be doing any math-related uh, concepts. 
So he's going to open up a Vulpix. If we are playing Alolan Vulpix, I am very happy. Because there is nothing an Alolan Vulpix can do that I am scared of. Alright, so he's going to go for the Nest Ball. I didn't see what type he was playing in the deck. I see a Ditto Prism Star, so probably Zoroark. And if we're playing Zoroark, I become a very happy lad. Because uh, we are playing Wooper, so Quagsire. What am I playing against? What am I playing against? Naganadel. So we got Naganadel, Quagsire, Vulpix, which is Alolan Ninetales. May I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean Alolan Ninetales. It could just be used uh, for Beacon. What are we playing against? I know Quagsire and Naganadel work very well together because Quagsire lets you move energy around in between turn. Naganadel lets you attach one onto your Pokemon from the discard pile. Uh, there is the Tapu Lele GX. Not a bad card to play. Probably for the turn one Lily. Um, is he playing Zoroark? Uh, I really want to know if he's playing Zoroark or not. There's another Poiple. I'll be very honest. If this is the um, Water Alolan Ninetales, the Prevents Damage Done GXs, I will just immediately forfeit because I cannot actually touch it. Pretty sure of. And honestly, discarding energy it just doesn't help me here. So, Steven's Resolve, we can add four cards into our deck. So, we want double colorless energy. We want... Lysander's Lab. And a Shuckle GX. I think we want a Shuckle GX. So, our turn does end, but it's perfectly fine. We do add three cards that we need to our hand. Alright, so, what, what, what is my opponent going to do? He gets one Naganadel, two Naganadel out. What is that ditto going to be? He is going to judge. A very well played judge. That is all I can honestly say, is that was a very well played judge. As my opponent is going to Ultra Ball, I do see the double colorless energy. <gasps> Ooh, he's playing the Water Alola Ninetales GX, so he will be able to do, what, 50 damage? So what I want is... I'll take a Crushing Hammer. I will take a Crushing Hammer. I have nothing against that. What we're going to do here is we're going to evolve our Eevee into a Glaceon GX. So one of our Glaceon GX, unfortunately, is prized, which I do not like. Uh, but you know what? That'll work. We are going to play Super Scoop Up. Main reason I'm going to play Super Scoop Up is get this Glaceon out that has the damage counters. We're going to play the Eevee onto the bench. We are going to play the Lusamine so that I can get me a Steven's Resolve back. Ooh. And I do want the Stevens Resolve so that I can uh, get myself a nice full hand next turn, I believe. Ah, he has nothing in his hand. That is what I like to see. Um, so we are going to Stevens Resolve. We're going to get me a Shuckle. We're going to get myself another Enhanced Hammer. And I'll probably grab myself a Cynthia. Right? No. Do we need an enhanced hammer? No. Let me get a double colorless energy. I could get an enhanced hammer. Oh, I can get a Lysander's Lab. Lysander's Lab isn't that bad of an option here. 
So the turn's gonna end. Next turn, I will have a Glaceon on my bench. I will have a Glaceon set up, and I will have a Shuckle. Plus Alessandra's Lab, so his Choice Band doesn't do anything. Um, I think I might hold off on attaching the Double Colorless Energy so that I can uh, bring in Shuckle, I think. I think that would be a good idea. So we're going to evolve. We got one, two. We're going to play Shuckle down onto the bench. We will play the Lysander's Lab. So Choice Band no longer works. We are going to Guzma in the Tapu Lele. We're gonna bring in our Shuckle. We're gonna attach a Water Energy and we're gonna go for that Triple Poison. And pretty much from here on out, we're just going to stall this deck. Because he needs three energy to do anything to me. And with him pretty much bricking, he doesn't have anything in his hand that's gonna get him energy. Um, I guess, I mean, retreating, I guess, is an option for him. He's going to pass turn here. Well, okay, so now he's going to Quagsire. He's going to wash out. He's going to move two energy onto his nine tails. And I guess he's probably just going to Ice Spear or whatever. Or Ice Blade, one of my uh, Vulpix. Or not Vulpix, Glaceon. Those aren't even remotely the same Pokemon. So right here, we are going to triple poison. I could actually go for the GX attack, but I feel like Glaceon's is actually a little bit better. Uh, does 100 or does 50 damage for each damage counter on my opponent's Pokemon. So next turn, I could actually pick up a KO on the Ninetales GX. Just retreat with Shuckle. Uh, he will Timer Ball, probably to search out uh, something for that Ditto to evolve into. Could be another Alolan Ninetales. And the one I did not want to see. So this is the one. Prevent all damage. Prevent all the effects of attacks done by my opponent's GX Pokemon. That is not what I want to see. What I do want to though is retreat. We're going to get into this Alolan Nine. Uh, my Glaceon. Jeez, I cannot talk today. And we're going to Polar Spear GX, which will knock out the Alolan Ninetales out on the active. We're going to claim two prizes here. Hopefully one is a Glaceon. One is a Double Colorless Energy, which does help me get a second Glaceon set up. And at this point now, I'm really going to have to strategically play my Guzmas. Because Guzma is the one thing that is going to help me. All right, so is he just going to wash out? I need to get rid of that Quagsire as soon as possible. Quagsire is the one thing that pretty much is keeping this deck alive. I just need to get rid of this Alolan Vulpix, or... Alolan Ninetales. It evolves from Vulpix. So he has two energy. Has to pass turn. So we are just going to Cynthia. I would love a super scoop up in all honesty. Plumeria. Uh, well, we can Frost Bullet. I won't be doing any damage to the Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Ninetales on my opponent's side, but I can start picking on the Quagsire. And he will need to top deck an energy for him to actually start damaging with his Alolan Ninetales. And I need three more turns to knock out that Quagsire. If I can get rid of the Quagsire, we are Gucci. We are Gucci Mane. He's going to withdraw, go out into his Tapu Lele. Uh, just use Naganadale shenanigans. Why would he bring out Tapu Lele? Well, I, you know what? I guess he could pick up a knockout here. 
what is that, two, four, five energy, does 100 damage, gets the KO, two prizes. Yep. All right, good play there. Uh, for me, though, I can start picking on the Quagsire again. I could go Shuckle and Paralyze it to pretty much guarantee that I get another turn with uh, that out. We are going to Lusamine, though. Uh, we are going to get ourselves... We're going to get ourselves Guzma. We're going to get ourselves Guzma and Lusamine. Lusamine, what you pretty much want to do is sit here and recycle Lusamines. Uh, we're going to go for the Frost Bullet. We're going to hit the Tapu Lele for 90. We're also going to do 30 more to that Quagsire, just weakening it. He will Cynthia, so bam, gets himself a draw supporter, which means he will be getting himself some fresh cards into his hand. Meanwhile, he's going to start getting a second Quagsire going. Not what I want to see. Uh, but what I, do, what I do like to see is the Acerola in my hand and the Shuckles. I love seeing that right now. So we're going to pick up my Glaceon. We're gonna put a shuckle out into the active. We're gonna play this. Um, we're gonna attach a water energy onto my uh, Eevee. I don't have anything that evolves into it, but that's perfectly fine because I do have the Glaceon in my hand. And we're just going to triple poison now. So we're gonna get 30 da uh, three damage counters. Next turn, the Tapu Lele will die. And at this point now, I just have to stall out with Lusamine, Acerola, Glaceon in knocking out the Quagsires. Because once the Quagsires go, he cannot move any energy around, which is great for me. Here comes the Alolan Ninetales, uh, which I don't like. I don't like to see. Uh, what I do want to see, though, is Max Potions. Haven't played any. There's a second Quagsire. Uh, I could pick on the Tapu Lele next turn, in all honesty, but I feel safer in just attacking the uh, Quagsires. 80 damage. Still needs two more hits to actually knock me out. Here, here we go. We get the Glaceon. And we will double colorless energy. And what I could do, actually, I'm going to get a double knockout here. I am going to get a double knockout here. What I mean by double knockout, we're going to Frost Bullet, we're going to take out the Lele. Do I just heavily damage the Quagsire right now? No, we're going to take out the Lele. So we're going to take three prizes this turn, knocking out one of the Quagsires and one of the top and the Tapu Lele. So that pretty much puts him in a position to where I can just stall him out with Lusamine, Acerola, and Shuckles. And I get a Guzma. I love that. That's what I needed. So his Alolan Ninetales cannot two-hit KO. Really? That's sad face. That's probably been my... Oh, that's the second one. That hurts. That hurts. Well, let us get this Quagsire in. So we can start getting some damage counters onto it. We are going to triple poison. So Quagsire is going to take three damage counters at the end of this turn. And at this point now, he's just going to have to move in a couple damage counters onto here. He still cannot knock me out, and I can just Lusamine for an Acerola, maybe? Right? Or I probably need to top deck an Acerola. Well, I have Super Scoop up. So that's honestly not awful. I have Super Scoop up in my hand. I would have to hit a Heads. He's going to Guzma in something. What is he going to Guzma in? He Guzmas in the Glaceon, which does save me. Alright, he also could probably just knock out the Glaceon right here now. 
which is a little bit of an issue. Right, 160, discard two energy. Ugh. Do I lose? All right, do I lose? Do I lose the game? We're gonna super scoop up, we need a heads. I do not get the heads. That is a sad face moment here. I might have to just Cynthia right now. I'm gonna lose cards in my hand, but I need to get an Eevee. Did not get the heads off the crushing hammer. I do get the shuckle out though, which means I can start doing a little bit of damage. I do lose though if he gets a Guzma. How many Guzma has he played? I do lose, yeah. If he plays a Guzma next turn, I do lose. So there is a choice band. Nope, that will be the game. Uh, so unfortunately for me, I was not able to actually get two or more Glaceon into play uh, because I did need to knock out another one of these. And I fell one prize card short, uh, which is just really unfortunate for me. Uh, not the way I'd want to start this video out, with a loss. Uh, but he's going to go for the Blizzard's Edge, pick up the knockout. Uh, really unfortunate, and the main unfortunate thing was this stupid card right here. That Alolan Ninetales, I absolutely despise. It just shuts down all GX-based decks. Hoopa I can play around, uh, but with Alolan Ninetales, you can splash it into any deck that uses an Alolan Bullpix. If you use an Alolan Vulpix and you're playing a GX based deck, you can throw in that Alolan Ninetales. Alright, so let us see. Opening hand is a Shuckle. Shuckle is not a bad opening hand. I believe we are going first, so I do get an ability to Steven's Resolve right now. Right, I, I think I am going first. So, Steven's Resolve going first can get me, what, a couple Eevee or Water Energy and Eevee. So, I do get this, and I do get a Steven's Resolve. What are, I better not be playing another one of those Ninetales decks. Uh, what else can we do? 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 We can get an Acerola. I think an Acer Roll would be nice to have. I know I have super scoop ups, but those aren't as reliable. All right, so next turn I will have me a Glaceon GX. I will have me a Shuckle that can just poison stuff. All right, so we are in an okay spot. So he's going to play a Blacephalon GX. So Blacephalon only uses two energy. So I don't think Blacephalon can actually damage my Shuckle. Unless he puts three energy on. Alright, so there's the Naganadale. So this is another meta deck. That is a big oof. I did not know Naganadale, or not Naganadale, Blacephalon actually played that. Oh, that is that sucks. All right, well, we're just gonna play some crushing hammers here now. Uh, I don't play any ultra beasts. Uh, well, I guess we just triple poison here, and we start doing some damage uh, to his Pokemon. I believe there's a new stadium that coming. Isn't there a stadium that keeps poison even if it evolves? I think Well of Volcano Park keeps burn even if it evolves. I don't know if there's anything that does poison. I think there's a Pokemon with an ability, though, that's coming out, though. 
uh, like Alolan, or not Alolan Muck, regular Muck, I believe has the ability in team up that if an opponent's Pokemon's poison, when it evolves, it stays poisoned. Could be actually an interesting concept for this deck. All right, so there's the Naganadel. He is going to Lily, so I do not have to worry about said Guzma. Uh, he can just do, oh, he has Acrobike, so a couple of Acrobike shenanigans. And he's playing max rarity as well. Everything max rarity. Uh, there is the full art Tapu Lele GX. He's going to search himself out probably a Guzma, I would say. Yep, there's the Guzma. No surprise there, gets the Guzma out. So I will need a water energy because he will be Guzma. He will be going for the Guzma next turn. So let us see. There's the water energy. Top decks are real, ladies and gentlemen. The top decks are real. Let us grab that Glaceon GX. And we will attach the bodybuilding dumbbells onto the Glaceon. We're going to go for that triple poison, though. We're going to start wearing down that Naganadel. And I probably will use Shuckle's GX attack. The main reason I'm looking at Shuckle GX attack uh, is to paralyze the Blacephalon and keep me healthy for a turn. It either forces him to burn a Blacephalon and get a uh, Naganadel... Marsh Shadow or Poipol out into the active. Or he just pretty much has to pass turn at that point. So no fire energy into his discard pile. He's going to attach a fire energy onto his Naganadel. Play the Blacephalon. Interesting. So he will have to attach it onto Blacephalon. Otherwise he can't actually pick up a knockout. He has to attach onto a Blacephalon. So he's going to go for the Bursting Burn. So, confuses me and burns me instead. We are going to play Cynthia, though. So Cynthia here lets me get a nice, fresh hand. No Enhanced Hammers helping me here. Um, I guess we can just attach onto Glaceon. I don't have an energy in hand. Uh, we're going to go for the Wrap GX. We do get the Heads and we get the Wrap GX off. So it's doing 40 damage and he is paralyzed next turn. Can we get a Heads? We do get rid of the Burn as well. Bingo. So Blacephalon is pretty much locked down. He will be forced to burn his Guzma here. Uh, he does have Naganadels to just redo energy, but I am forcing him to burn his Guzma now to get that... Blacephalon out of the active. Uh, he can always retreat here, get the Blacephalon out. He can always attack me. Uh, he will only be able to do what? Four energy th or three energies worth. So he doesn't get a knockout on Glaceon. And he's pretty much hoping I don't have an energy in hand. That is his main hope is that I don't have an energy. He has four energy on the board. Uh, he would have to remove all energy and put them into the lost zone. For him to do any damage to me. He's going to play the Palpads and the Guzma and the Lily back into the deck. His only hope right now at this point is going for all four energy being removed and him being knocked out next turn, right? Nope, just goes for the Bursting Burn. Interesting. 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 Well, you know what? I'm going to play my Guzma. And we're going to get a Blacephalon out into the active. I know I burned my GX attack, uh, but we're just going to start damaging all these Blacephalon here. Let's see. Are we in a good spot now? Lacephalon cannot hit me unless he puts three energy onto it, and I don't think he wants to put three energy onto it to use the attack. I love the spot I'm in right now. I'm in a fantastic spot. So he is going to burn another Guzma. I mean, he already played the Pal Pad, so he does have another Guzma back into his deck. Doesn't have many options here. He still has to get the Glaceon. He's probably just going to be burst burning. Uh, gets him the Ganadel out into the active. Why? 
just to retreat into Blacephalon. Well, I have, what, 204, 220 HP left, so you need 5 energy to be discarded in order to pick up a knockout. You right now have 3 on the board, 1 in hand, so all he's going to be doing is just going for Bursting Burn. That's really all he can do, is just go for the Bursting Burn. So now he only needs 4 energy to knock me out. Uh, we're going to play Super Scoop Up. Hopefully we hit a heads. We do not. That is unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to play Mars. We're going to draw two cards. Now my opponent discards one. We're going to play another Super Scoop Up. Hopefully we hit a heads. We do not. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, we do have the Ace Roller in hand. We do hit the heads on this. And we are going to hit a Blacephalon for the knockout and one... 30 damaged and add 30 damage to the bench one, which is perfectly fine for me. We're going to get the double colorless energy. Um, so now, what is that? I do get rid of the burn. I have 180 HP left. He still needs four energy to knock me out. So that is fantastic for me right now. My opponent's going to play Super Scoop Up. He's going to get a Tails. He's now going to play a Beast Ring. That is a bit of a scary problem. He's going to play another Beast Ring. Oh, boy. Well, four energy have to go to the Lost Zone. Oh boy, this is an issue. So he's going to go for the Mind Blown. So he has to get rid of four energy for the knockout. He still has three energy there. Oh boy. So I need an EV badly. I need an EV badly. Well, we're going to play Lysander's Lab. I might have to judge. As much as I don't want to, I need a judge. I have to play the judge. It's going to give him two cards, and I'm going to lose one card, but I have to to get an EV. Nope, that's game. Right, that's game. We're going to triple poison, and 0-2 oh with this deck it's going to look like. Just that lack of Pokemon hurts, because if I don't get Eevees, I pretty much can't do anything. Uh, he's going to Acrobike. And he just has to get rid of 2 energy, right? Yep. He's going to play the Beast Energy, and that will be game. 0-2 oh with this deck. Um, in concept, it looks really good when you can get it rolling and you have two glaceon on your bench uh i think it's great uh, but i mean again my struggle was getting basic pokemon out and i that is my one big negative about the deck is i really struggled to get pokemon down onto the bench uh i struggled to get eevee out uh and unfortunately that will end up as a loss for us um 0-2 at the deck. Losing streaks had to come somehow, but you know what? There is no knock on the deck because it did finish 43rd. Probably wasn't my sort of play style, in all honesty, but can't say that it, hey, it's a bad deck because when you finish 43rd out of 488 players, it's still a good deck. Um, just for my preference in terms of play style, did not work for me, but for other people, it might work out as well. But if you guys enjoyed today's deck profile, go ahead, hit the like button. Comment your guys' support for the TTM TCG channel. Subscribe if you guys have not already done so. But with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB, and I am signing out.